All right, welcome back to this lesson, and we are going to um, create our ground plane, and we're going to import our CG element. All right, um, because it, this is not a flat ground, we are going to create a um, little bumpy, bumpy road. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to my plane shape, and I can't see my. Hmm, that's weird. All right, no problem. Just make a new one. And go to my plane shape. It's where I can't see my my information. All right, there's no problem. All right, so we got our uh, plane shape over here, and we're going to make it a little bit bumpy. So, what I usually do is I'm just um, taking a few vertices and bring it down bring this one up it's really hard to see if everything is really flat on, on the ground if you really want to know if this is good you have to make pictures on the set and check if how the ground is behaving but for now this is okay so I'm gonna press 5 and we got our a little bit of a bumpy looks like something like this all right all right uh, I'm going to import my CG element uh, I can't um, use the robot because the robot I is I got is from a friend and he's working at double ne negative and the robot is still in production so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to um, just import a simple sphere. You can import uh, an object, whatever you want. So, we got a simple sphere. And it doesn't matter what kind of object you have, you can place your own CG robot or something else. I'm just going to show you how, how to um, create and make it um, as real as possible. So, I'm going back to my cam atom. And we got our floating ball of epicness over here. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to render this out with a uh, few rays. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a a new shader. I'm going to my hyper shade, and you gotta have few ray for this. So if you don't have it, please load it up. And go into my plugin manager and Fury. All right. So I'm going to my Fury materials and I'm going to just uh, take a diffuse color and I'm going to my file. And I got this nice texture got from Google. It's a Transformers map. And I go into my reflection and I'm going to import the same one. And I did this with uh, with a robot the same way. I just use one texture. It's not really organized or everything. It's just one texture, one one shader, and in post I just I just did my own style and look nice. So we got something like this. I'm going to use Fresnel, and I'm going to apply this. All right, so here we go. And because it's a diffuse lighting, I'm going to create a dome light. And I'm going to set my intensity to uh, 0.3. Point three, and I'm going to create one area light. I mean, one rectangle light. Um, for case, I'm not a professional in Maya and 3D. I'm just using my own uh, technique and tools. How I usually do this, uh, I I'm sure there is another better way of doing this, but this is the way I work. So bear with me, please. So we got. I placed the light over here because our sky over here is 
is is really bright. So I know that it's going to be really bright. So that's why I just put a, a light over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to my cam atom and I'm going to render it just to see how it looks. And let me see. Go to my V ray and I'm going to set my to. We are going to work in HD 720. I put my render camera and put my adaptive to DMC and I'm going to go to my global and render alright so now let's see how it looks I'm not going to render this big I'm going to my option and rendering my test something like this Alright, we got our ball over here, and it doesn't look real, I know, but we are going to work on it. Um, we still need some more diffuse lighting, and we got its weird edge, but that's just uh, the UV, so what I'm going to do for that one is I'm just going to rotate it, so you only see the good side. So if I render this again, it should be gone. I really like the dark side on this side. So I'm going to do like this. And I'm going to go to my V ray and I'm going to my color mapping and I'm going to bump up my gamma 2.6, 1.6, and my type 2 exponential. Alright. Let's see how this looks. So. As you can see, we got some more uh, diffuse lighting going on. It's still too too dark, but and I see somewhere edge. I'm going to rotate it like this. As you can see, this is looking much better right now. I'm going to bump it up more, so I have more control in my post. Alright, so what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to uh, render this out as an EXR and call this my ball. Do the same with your uh, with your CG element. Um, for the for this section, I'm going to hide my locators because it's bugging me. For this section, I'm only going to use um, ambient occlusion for the Round only. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to my render layers, uh, make a new render layer, and we got this. And I'm also going to import this one over here. We'll call this uh, AO. Digital tutors have a lot of tutorials about render passes, so I'm not going to really deep in, into it. So I'm just going to create a simple ambient occlusion pass, and I'm going to render it with mental ray. All right. I'm going to override this, create new material override, and I'm going to. I think I forgot how to do it. You know, sometimes if you use too many uh, programs, you forget the old ones. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to my hypershade. I'm going to my hypershade, I'm going to create a MIA material, MIB. Let me see. Let me see where it is. I don't think it's loaded. Do you think it's loaded? No, nope, we don't got we don't have mental ray, so we're gonna load it. Same stuff, plugin manager. And it's right over here. Maya to mental ray. Refresh. Okay. Go back to my hyper shade, and if I press MIB, we get our man in black. <laughs> MIB ambient occlusion. Here we go. So, what are we going to do? Is yes, we're going to create material override, and we got our it exist. It's weird, I don't see it. 
create new new material override and I think it's out of my screen. So, all right, no, no worries. We can just right click and still not in there. It's weird. We're going back to our hyper shade. Hmm. See, somehow it did is not working. So back to our MIB and an occlusion. Oh, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. I have to plug this in into a into a shader. Sorry guys. So sometimes I just forgot how to do stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to create a I'm going to create a simple surface shader. Surface shader. Here we go. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, just forgot how to do some stuff. Because I'm using too many applications to do my official effects with. And then sometimes you forget stuff. And we're going to MIB and inclusion. Alright, and we're going to set our samples to something like 32. And now we can go to our overrides and create and we've got our surface shader. Which is our ambient occlusion, and let's render this out. Let's render this out, and we got our ambient occlusion, which is not working because we are rendering with Fury, and we are rendering with Mental Ray. And make sure your ambient occlusion is turned on in your features. All right. And I'm going to my ambient occlusion and I'm going to switch my I'm going to switch my dark and my bright. I'm going to show you the lesson why I'm doing that. Alright, here we got our ambient occlusion. And my samples are really low. So what I'm going to do is in my passes my quality I'm going to adapt the sampling and set it to something like 2 that will help it and let's render this again let's also kill our camera our image plane just go to your uh, image plane sorry my screen is so small I can see anything and yeah go to your create image plane Oh, I'm sorry, I did the wrong one. The wrong one. Go back. Set it to none. Go to my image plane. Set this to none. So now we should have only black and uh, white. E nope, we don't have that. So I think I saw. Yeah. All right. Let's see this. Yep. As you can see, we see only our uh, white and our black, so we can just mask this. And as you can see, we got our weird uh, edges, so I'm just going to increase the size of it. And now it should be gone. Yep, so we got our nice shadow ambient occlusion. We don't need uh, a shadow, the direct shadow, because we don't have it because it's overcast day. All right. So uh, let's render this out. This is my AO and this is my master. Let's render this out too. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, this is looking nice. We got our nice, a nice highlight. We go into. Um, Hide our our selection, and we should only have our ball. All right, let's render this out, and 
importers and I'll see you in the next lesson.